Most people in the Conservation Centre are either book conservators or book and paper conservators. So some people will work on books and three-dimensional items and others will work on flat art and some will work on a combination of both. It's a great privilege to work with these items and in a way you've got to learn not to be scared of them, you've got to make friends with them uh, before you can, uh, you can actually work on them. In conservation we treat items but we do not change the items uh, per se and we use uh, a strategy of minimal intervention which means we will only work to support the item we certainly don't restore. In exhibitions it's very common for us to mount things for display and then we have to unmount it at the end of the show, so any adhesive that we use on it has to be able to be easily removed. I work mainly with um, exhibition um, material and a lot of my work is thinking about how much light exposure something gets, so everything can get light damage and it's cumulative, so while we can't stop that, we can try and reduce its impact. It's a really nice thing to do and one of the reasons that I, I love working in sort of exhibitions is because you know you're preparing it to be viewed by hopefully thousands of people and it's nice to think that your work will be appreciated. <laughs> We're doing this kind of work because this whole collection belongs to the nation and uh, we have to keep the items within that collection in the best condition possible. So we're hopefully uh, slowing down any deterioration. Um, it's a very hard job for us because we have approximately 170 million items. So what we do in conservation is the tip of the iceberg.